Building 905 was built in 1931 as a multi-purpose administrative, recreation, and a large dining facility to support the historic Army Air Corps Aviation Cadet Campus. Situated on Cadet Circle, south of the AETC headquarters building Martin Hall, Building 905 was built in the Spanish colonial architectural tradition and was the center of all flying training activities at the west point of the air as soon as Randolph Field, Texas began its flying training mission. Known as the Cadet Administrative Building, aviation cadets reported to Building 905 for initial clothing issue, haircuts, all meals, and off-duty recreational activities. The northern roof of the building was used to communicate the uniform of the day and flying activities for aviation cadets. Famous aviation cadets who trained at Randolph, including second leading ace Thomas B. McGuire Jr. and 17 of the Doolittle Raider pilots and co-pilots, including the late Colonel Dick Cole, reported daily to Building 905. In 1957 through 1958, the facility was converted to multiple office spaces for Air Training Command when it relocated to Randolph from Scott Air Force Base, Illinois. Creatively repurposed, a third floor was even added in what had been open floor plan with a high ceiling over the cadet mess. While the facility occupants and overall focus have changed over the years, Building 905, soon to be known as Wilson Hall, in honor of the United States Air Force's longest serving Vice Chief of Staff, remains key to the recruiting, training, and education mission. The facility currently houses administrative and conference spaces to include the Frank Lom Conference Center for the Headquarters Air Education and Training Command, facilitating all elements of the AETC enterprise, including plans and programs, history, public affairs, innovation, and other key focus areas for the Air Force's largest mission. A bronze plaque dedicating the building to General Wilson will be mounted at the south entrance of the building and a dedication will be located right inside the door. A display is planned inside the south entrance door that will capture vignettes of General Wilson's contributions to the Air Force across his career. From the men and women of the Air Education and Training Command and the United States Air Force, congratulations to General Stephen Seve W. Wilson and his wife, Mrs. Nancy Wilson, for your selfless commitment, steadfast dedication, and honorable service to our nation.